hello guys welcome to the next video tutorial on android app development for beginners and in this video we will see how to use list view in our android activity so list view you we can use whenever we want to display uh, some list uh, in our activity so let's get started and let's see how uh, we can use list view with an example so just go to your palette i have this blank project made and uh, in my activity i'm just going to uh, drag and drop a container called list view so drag and drop this container called list view in your uh, android activity okay now what we are going to do is in order to populate this uh, list what we are going to do is we are going to create uh, an another layout with uh, our text boxes and then we will uh, populate multiple text boxes in this uh, list view so what i'm going to do is i'm going to right click my layout and go to new and in here the last option uh, is the xml file so go to xml and then click layout xml value and then uh, give a name to your uh, layout so i will name it as for example i want to make a list of names so i will uh, name it as uh, name list for example name underscore list and i will finish and this will create a new xml file in my layout folder of uh, inside the resources folder now i will i'm going to click uh, this uh, name underscore uh, list dot xml file and i'm going to go to the design view of this uh, list uh, and in here this is a linear layout so i'm going to change this uh, tag to text view so just ta change it to text view okay and same we will do here so we will initialize and end this text view with the keyword text view right now what we are going to do is uh, we will go to our main activity here and in here in our java folder we will go to the main activity dot java and in here first of all we will declare uh, this uh, variable called list view so once you have declared this list view we can create a method for this uh, list view item click event right so first of all we will uh, make an array to populate our list view so for example we can uh, uh, make an array of string for names so we have declared uh, this array of string and uh, i have declared some uh, names inside this array and we are going to use this array to uh, populate our list view now there is something called adopter and this adopter is like uh, you know as the name suggests adopter between uh, the data and the view okay so we are going to declare the adopter and then using this adopter we are going to uh, you know join this data and the list view so first of all let's declare a method so public void and we will name it as list view for example and now inside this uh, list view what we are going to do is we are going to first of all cast our list view variable which is this one and 
we will find by id now we are going to create an adopter for our list view so array adopter and this will be a string adopter or, or, or so we will pass string data type for this and then we will name our variable as adopter itself is equal to new array adopter and in here this take three argument one is the context which is uh, this itself second is the you know list sample list so we have created this uh, name underscore list layout here right so what we are going to do is we can call this by r dot layout dot name list right and then it takes the data so for us the data is this strings of name or array of name right so we will just pass uh, this uh, array of name as the third argument and now we can use our list view to load this so list view dot set adopter and we can pass this adopter inside this uh, set adopter function okay and what it's going to do is it's going to uh, load all the data into our list view okay now uh, let's add some functionality of uh, to our list view so whenever we uh, click some item of the list it should uh, display the content of the list or something like this in the message right so let's uh, do this first of all what we are going to do is we are going to take our list view and we will uh, set item click event so we will set item click event okay or set on click item right so just choose this option called set on item click listener and inside this uh, set on item cl click listener we will create new on item click listener and inside uh, this uh, function on item click we can uh, use this uh, position of the item or id of the item to uh, you know display something okay so for example uh, we can use this uh, position and what we can do is using this position we can uh, uh, you know get the value of the item so i'm going to create a string variable and i will name it as value is equal to we will cast the value so string and then we will take our list view and dot get item okay so we will take the item at the position okay and we will pass this item called position here or this position here so it takes the position and now we have uh, the you know name of the item at this position whatever we click okay so we will use toast to display the value and the position toast dot make text and it takes uh, three argument as we know first is the name of your activity or context dot this second argument it takes is the message itself so we are going to create some message for example and we will take this position from here and then we can display the value right value and this value we can take from this string value right okay now the third argument we will pass here is the toast dot 
length okay and then we will show this toast and now our function is done right so not now what we are going to do is we are just going to call this function in our on create method in here and now we are going to run our program so now our program is running and you can see all the names uh, are populated inside our list and these names are uh, these names right and once we click on some name for example this name we can see the position of this name is zero because index of the list starts from zero and the name appears the value is tom right once uh, we click this name called mark the position is one and value is mark we will click third name position is two value is john okay so in this way you can populate a list view using uh, your string or or using this adopter right so i hope you have enjoyed this video please rate comment and subscribe and bye